It starts off with Overton beating his meat to some music videos. This is a bold way to start your episode. What is this? I don't want to see this. That's like some caveman times. Jerking it to music videos? Damn, bro. The 90s sucked. Ain't have no phone or nothing. Get a phone, bro. I know you got some VHSs in here or something. Booty talk VHS. like you could use a little bit of TLC. Mm. That's right. And we've got some ideas to how to keep you warm all night. I mean, but, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Who sleeps with a random cup in their hand? What is some lean in here? Nobody sleeps like this, bro. But he falls asleep and he has this lean fantasy now, I suppose. TLC shows up in his room and they top him off or whatever, all three of them. Hey, this show pretty lit, man. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Kyle comes in and turns off the music. That wakes Overton up before he even got to smash. That's not cool. I hate you, Kyle. This nigga named Kyle. I got an early meeting with Japanese investors tomorrow. And if I yawn, it will be no yen. Overton tells Kyle all about the dream and he's worried that it means he don't like his girlfriend anymore or something. This nigga a child, bro. Was this your first girlfriend or something? Man, I'm dreaming I was in bed with TLC, dude. Dreaming about TLC? What does that say about St. Clair and I? I'm gonna give your problem the appropriate amount of thought. Finished. Good night. <laughs> This nigga put the sleep mask on. You gotta walk to your room, bro. You gonna fall down the damn steps or something. Whatever, I hate you anyway, stupid. Don't worry about the GTO pick between that boy. Hey, go ahead, conquer your head, that boy. You know, I always thought this was Max in the beginning dancing. Maybe it's... I don't know why, honestly. I just wasn't a smart kid. You're a dummy, bitch. So they live in a 90s kind of world. They all homegirls and everything. They love to hang out in Queen Latifah's big-ass two-story apartment. Holy shit, bro. These niggas like 20-something. They all living way better than me. I gotta get my life together. You're a dummy, bitch. So Khadija is the main character. She's played by Queen Latifah. She owns a magazine company or some 90s ass shit like that. Kyle is a vague business person. He real fancy or something as well. No, not so much fancy as it is eloquent. <laughs> Overton is Kyle's roommate. He a handyman and he real stupid. He liked the stupid character. Sinclair is Queen Latifah's cousin. She's like the stupid character also. That's fine. It's a 90s sitcom. You know, Cole, you stupid, all that. Random spoons! <laughs> Regine is like the bougie one. She lives here too, I think. Her and Sinclair. Okay, so they got hella roommates. This big ass apartment makes sense now. I feel better now. Also, Max, she's a lawyer. She's like the smart one. She don't live here, but she always here. She's like the tomboy. She always eating. She got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of different trades. Hello, Kyle, <laughs> my man. Oh, that's right, I'm with you now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> As usual, I didn't get the part. They said I wasn't ethnic enough. <laughs> to a white girl with a curly pearl. <laughs> They're all hanging out in the apartment. Sinclair comes in and she's sad that she didn't get some acting gig because she's too stupid or whatever. She an actor, by the way. Forgot to say that. Max gives Sinclair a pep talk real quick, but ends up getting roped into driving her to the next audition. Well, you got another audition tomorrow, right? Yeah, but I'm not going, so I don't need tomorrow off. I don't win all of my court cases, but you don't see me quitting. The point is, you can't win if you don't show up to court. You really think I could be a great actress? Don't change the subject. <laughs> they get to the audition and it's for some random infomercial starring this fake ass Bill Nye the science guy. The director is here being mean to everybody, of course. He's wearing this little ass sweater vest. What size is that, bro? 2T? Little ass children's vest. And leather pants? Somebody get this nigga, man. Good morning, people. I'm Lanny Fredette. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> and I won't get the job, and my face will never be on the cover of Jet Magazine, okay? Next. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Overton skates in his sheets again. He calls Kyle in the room to tell him all about it, I guess. I don't want to hear that shit! Also, Overton is the worst actor on the whole show. He's definitely still charming and all that, but it's no wonder we haven't seen this nigga since the Hughleys. Get your ass out of here, boy. Oh, it happened again! Kyle! Man, I just had another dream about TLC. In the past, I enjoyed a lovey-dovey dream about a beautiful singing trio with an upbeat hip-hop sound as much as the next man. Think something's wrong? Well, why ask me? Ask TLC. <laughs> Turns out Overton was still in the dream the whole time. Fully clothed, non-sex dream. This was before free porno was a thing. It's kind of sad, actually. And why is Kyle here again? Is he smashing too? Stop dreaming about this nigga. This episode of Crimson Cinema is sponsored by HelloFresh. I know you're a busy person. HelloFresh knows that too. That's why they're here to make mealtime easy for you. They'll send delicious recipes made with fresh, wholesome ingredients right to your door. Nobody wanna go grocery shopping, bro. That's so whack. There's always some guy out there trying to get me to sign something. I hate that. Leave me alone, bro. Let HelloFresh take care of your meal planning and prepping so you can free up some extra time in your schedule. And with the cost of groceries going up every day, now is the perfect time to get started. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. You get fresh seasonal ingredients and a ton of weekly recipes to choose from for all meal occasions. They let you customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides or even adding a protein to a veggie dish. And now you can even upgrade to organic chicken or organic ground beef on select meals. Skip all the grocery store lines. Skip that weird dude with the clipboard. Just go to HelloFresh.com slash Prim60. Use the promo code Prim60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Again, it's HelloFresh.com slash Prim60. Use the promo code Prim60. 60% off. I'm going crazy out here. No, I don't control the deals or whatever. But thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring. They're America's number one meal kit. Shout out to them. On with the video. We go back to Sinclair and it's time for her audition now. Max is still here, being super supportive, of course. Break the legs, knock them dead, and if you make it snappy, we can beat the rush hour. <laughs> you my rock girl. <laughs> Wrong look, drive safely, next. <laughs> Sinclair doesn't get the part, but Max does. That's pretty cliche. That happens in hella sitcoms for some reason. It's fine, what'd you expect? They give Max this bathtub pressure cooker or something for the infomercial. That's pretty funny. What the hell is that? I kinda want one. How'd that happen? That's a $49 value. <laughs> yeah, it cost me at least like two, what, why? two thousand dollars, two five, five, five grand. You stole the part from Sinclair? She already been rejected. <laughs> but I have a nice, long, hot soak in the tub. And some steamed cabbage. <laughs> Overton falls asleep to this royalty-free ass hip-hop song. He has the TLC dream again, but this time they give him some advice instead of topping him off. That's whack. Overton. <laughs> You're not cheating on anybody. Let me tell you what's happening. See, you watch our videos, you fall asleep, and then you show up in your dreams. I wasn't watching y'all videos tonight. This isn't your dream. <laughs> oh, by the way, Obi, Sinclair is the luckiest woman in the world. Uh, <laughs> Max starts recording her infomercial now. What is this? I thought they were selling the damn bathtub pressure cooker. That's what I want. I don't want no damn cheese sandwiches. Have you ever been driving to work and thought to yourself, blimey? I'd love a mouth-watering grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> but we all know that kind of mouth-watering snack in your car just isn't possible. Must be the least fucking five grand. Really? Why? Sinclair is an audience hating, and Max starts to feel real bad about taking the role. So she calls Sinclair up to the stage and lets her be a part of the infomercial. 
Sinclair does a great job, I guess. It's still pretty whack. I could have did that shit. God, I'm getting out of here. Excuse me. You can stick. Wait. Seems we have a skeptic. You, ma'am. If the sandwich doesn't taste good, it's not worth the high impact plastic that it's made out of. <laughs> At first, I was skeptical. But Sheila, I'll take a dozen. I don't care what they cost. <laughs> they both get fired anyway because they weren't supposed to do any of that. It's a happy ending, though. They still friends forever. I'm glad I got my girl. Go we head back over to Queen Latifah's apartment, which she's barely in this episode at all. That's pretty strange. I don't know why I picked this episode. It's all right though. It's a good video. Uh, red up, red up, red up. No, Overton, you're not responsible for your dreams. My night school <laughs> psychology professor said that dreams are, are largely symbolic anyway. I haven't watched Living Single in years. This was my official revisit, and I had fun. It's like a comfort TV show, you know what I mean? It's really similar to the show Friends, except it came out first and it's actually kind of funny. Get oh, no, but seriously, it's one of those shows that you can leave on and get a few laughs. Clean your house up or something while it's on. You know the vibes. This is the first sitcom with four black female leads, and it was one of the highest rated shows every year. That's definitely a W. Even though it's old as hell, it's still a W. Shout out to Queen Latifah and the cast. RIP Left Eye. Everybody keep your head up. That's right. Whenever this life gets tough.